Hey guys, how's it going? It's Steve here, and as you all know, or at least I'm sure you all know, the art contest has come to an end. It was such a good contest, there were so many great entries. Uh, I just wanna give you guys all a quick little salute. You know, I really didn't expect this from you. I mean, I didn't not expect it from you, I just didn't know what to expect. And, you know, I kinda set up this art contest hoping that I'd get some good entries. And I did, so I'm very happy about that. And I just wanna let you guys know if you didn't get involved in this contest, there will be more contests in the future because I think we all had a lot of fun with this. I had a lot of fun with this. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know this is gonna be something that I do on a you know, regular basis. So even if you got involved in this contest, you can still get involved in future contests. And if you didn't get involved in this one, you can get involved in future contests. You know what I mean. You can get involved. Anyways, um, before I get into the winners and, you know, first, second, and third, I kind of want to actually take some time to go through all the entries because they all were great in their own ways. So I just want to kind of point out some of the things that I liked about the entries. Now, I guess we'll get started in no specific order. Um, I actually have my trusty laptop down here, so I will be looking down once in a while, but I'm going to present the pictures up here just so you guys can kind of see them for yourselves. So um, in no specific order, we're going to start out with this one. Now this was actually done by a guy by the name of Admia Morier. Now I really like this one. It's it's so good. Um, the reason I like it is because it's kind of it's almost like a doorway to my mind. It's showing all the creativity that's stirring up in there. Um, you know, you see this great uh, rainbow and then some sort of bird flying around and then this big bright red sun. And then what you actually see on the doorway is you see the Steve's Art Studio logo that I actually created myself. Um, and I just thought that was a really creative idea. It's kind of, it's just really thinking outside the box. So that's what I really liked about this one. So good job, Admium. Um, now in the next entry, uh, this is by a guy by the name of Bettany Bob. Now what he decided to do is he basically showed sort of me sitting down with one of my arms off to the right side and you actually see all these watercolors kind of coming out of my arm. Now I thought this was a really cool entry because it's almost showing like my arms a paintbrush and you know the paint's just spilling out of me. It's almost like I'm some sort of mutant or well not a mutant but like some sort of artistic superhero if you will. Anyways it was a great entry so I really liked it so good job Bettany Bob. Um, and now we're gonna go to the next entry. And now this one, this one kind of made me laugh a little bit. This was actually by the by a guy. By, blah, blah. Sorry guys, I gotta slow down. <laughs> um, this entry was actually by a guy by the name of General Nonsense. Now the reason that I thought this was kind of funny is when he first started his video, he was kind of just staring at the camera, just giving us this creepy stare. And then he pulled up this picture of a dog. Now as you can see, the dog was really well done. It's got this black highlight around the outside of it and then it's got all these cool little designs on the inside. Um, I think he explained it as a pop art dog so I don't know I really thought that was a cool entry very artistic um, and yeah I mean that's all I have to say really it's just it was a great drawing so good work Mr. General. Um, and now into our next entry this was actually done by a guy by the name of Hippopotamus or hippopotamus, I don't know, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it was actually a three piece uh, submission, if you will. Um, in the first submission, he basically had this little cottage down by, I think down by a river, and then he's got all this brush in the foreground, and a moon in the background, and clouds, and it's just a it's a landscape painting, so that's what I really liked about it. Um, I didn't expect too many of you to do landscape paintings, but some of you did, so that's awesome. I really like it. Um, he actually did three drawings, so I think he wanted me to choose that one, but it doesn't really matter. I'll go through all of them. Uh, his second drawing was actually the front of a house, which I thought was really cool, because it kind of it's really detailed so it shows a lot of like architecture in it and I kinda looked at this and thought wow you know this kid could really be an architect one day so yeah that was a good entry and then his third drawing was what was his third drawing 
Oh yeah, it was a drawing from a video game, one of his favorite video games. Um, I, I guess I can mention the video game, it's uh, Portal. And I, I thought this was cool, I've never really played the video game Portal, but I have played Half-Life, which is from the same company, so I sort of, I sort of get the whole Portal thing. I, I haven't really played it that much, but anyways, I, I thought he did a great job on all three of these drawings. Um, I never really said that you couldn't do three drawings, so maybe in the future I'll limit everyone to one. But yeah, anyways, great job, Mr. Hippopotamus, and we're going to go on to the next one. Um, now this drawing right here was done by the name of Mr. Bank Owner. Now, I thought this was a great entry. It's basically this fire-breathing dragon uh, up in the mountains. He's flying around, probably scaring everyone. And then another thing I really liked about this entry is he's got these clouds in the background. And in one of the clouds, you see my name. It says Steve. But he did it in this really cool graffiti font, which I thought was cool because he kind of relates to me and the fact that I really enjoy doing graffiti. So, yeah, this was a great entry. Um, it was kind of hard to see it because his video camera was a little fuzzy and blurry, but you get the idea. It's a great drawing of a dragon, so i got to give it to you, Mr. Bank Owner. You did a good job. Uh, and now, moving on to the next one. Uh, this is uh, my good buddy, Mr. Monkey 98 um, Now, he did a great job. He actually went with an idea based on something we've been talking about for a while. Um, ever since I put out a video a while ago, I don't even remember what video it was, he kind of suggested to me, he said, Steve, come on, someday you got to do a Green Day painting. And I said to him, you know, I've got so many people asking me to do this and that, like, how can I decide that I'm just going to do your idea? But anyways, it was kind of this ongoing joke where he told me a bunch of times I should do Green Day, and I told him I couldn't, and... I don't know, maybe one day I'll do a Green Day painting. But he did a great job. Um, as you can see, he did three different characters, and I'm just going to cycle through them right now. Um, I guess Billy Joel, Trey Cool, and then the drummer. I don't even know his name. But anyways, he did a great job. They all look like the characters, really good shading. So, yeah, this was another three, I guess a series painting. So, anyways, great job, Mr. Sea Monkey. I really like your entry. And moving along. Um, excuse me. I need a little drink. Parched. I'm not editing this video, so I'm just kind of going with it. And because I'm talking a lot, I'm kind of... You get the idea. Anyways, um, this next entry, uh, it's beautiful. I love the sunset in the background. Um, I love this old tree, an old oak tree or whatever kind of tree it is. I don't know. I guess we'd have to ask Mr. Timger, Tim, TMB Jr. I don't even know. I don't know how to pronounce your names. You all have really weird names, okay? But anyways, this was a great drawing. Um, it's got this cool tree, and in the branches it says Steve's Art Studio. And then it has this sign off to the right that says to Steve's Art Studio, and it has an arrow pointing somewhere. So I thought, I thought this was kind of like a Minecraft-inspired drawing. Um, I also like how he had that pumpkin down on the grass because I think he did this around the same time as Halloween. So I, I just thought he was kind of with the seasons when he drew this. And of course, because it has to do with Minecraft, he obviously tried to relate to my channel. So yeah, I really like this drawing and yeah, good work, Mr. Timger. I don't, I don't know. You gotta tell me how to pronounce your names because I just don't know. Um, now moving along to this next entry. Uh, this was actually the latest entry that I received by Miss Nina's Life. Now, I think her name's also Marilyn. I don't even know all of your names, but I just happen to know this girl's name because she... Well, I don't even need to get into it. There's this little discussion we had today. But um, anyways, she did this cool picture of me, and the reason that I really like this one is because there's a Canadian flag behind me. And that's just cool because it kind of represents where I'm from. Um, and I love how she has the classic red and white hat. Um, I think a lot of you decided to work with that, which was kind of funny to me. Um, she she put a little smiley face also in the corner there, which is cute. So yeah, this was a great entry. I really like it. And yeah, good work, Miss Ninas. Uh, and moving on to our next one. Now, 
this entry I thought was really good, um, mostly because it really looks like me. I, I hate to say it, but it really does. Um, he, he drew this cool Steve character, of course, with the red and white hat, um, and I'm just sitting there on top of a creeper, which I think is really cool because it kind of goes with that whole Minecraft theme. Um, and I like how he did that really hard outline around the outside of the character. I have to say this one was really good because it's it's almost like one of those caricatures, you know? I guess that's what it is. Like, it's really, it's accurate. Like, it, it's good. So, um, let's go on to our next one. Oh, wait, did I say who that was by? Oh, yeah, that last one's by Radom Cupcack. Or Cupcake, or whatever you want to call it. It's by him. Um... And then this next, well, I can't call it a drawing, but this next submission was done by Mr. Slickbomb509. Now, me and him had a little conversation. Uh, once he submitted this, I told him that, you know, I'm sorry, but this one can't count in the contest because it wasn't drawn by hand. It was actually done on his computer. Now, Maybe in the future I will have a digital art contest. Just let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want me to do that? Because if you do, then I'll keep that in mind for future. But, uh, you know, I kind of made it clear to everyone that it had to be hand-drawn from the beginning. So I can't, I can't accept this submission, but that doesn't mean it's not good. So I'm still showcasing it here for you guys to see. Um, he did a great job. He wrote this cool Steve's art studio and graffiti. And then he actually did, like, a Minecraft version of me, which I thought was awesome. Of course he put my hat in there. I think I'm going to have to just keep wearing this hat forever since it becomes such a classic Steve's art studio symbol or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this was just a great entry, and it doesn't matter if it can't win. It's a great entry. So good work, Mr. Slip Bomb. And... Next up, we have this great drawing by Mr. Tepu MX. Now, I couldn't get the best uh, screenshot of it, as you can see, but um, it's a really good drawing. It's basically sort of a landscape drawing with this old tree that's branching off all over the place. Um, I think there was a swamp, as he mentioned, a swamp in the background. So there's some really good shading going on. If you look at the tree, you can see all sorts of darks and lights and... You know, there's just all sorts of shading. I think he did it all in pencil. So, you know, I just got to give it to you, Mr. Tepu MX, Tipu, Tupu, I don't know how you pronounce it again. But, uh, yeah, he did a great job. So, good on you. All right. Now, I think we've come to the end. Yes, we have. We have come to the end of the drawings. So, I'm going to put my little trusty laptop away. And I'm going to tell you guys who came in first, second, and third. All right. I, re I feel bad about doing this because you all did such a good job, but I know you guys want to know, so I'm just going to lay it out there. I'm not going to screw around. I'm going to start by telling you who came in third place. In third place, we have Mr. Admium Warrior. Now, Admium, the reason I decided to give it to you is you really stuck to the idea of Steve's art studio. You know, you had my logo in there, you kind of, you had these doors that opened to Steve's art studio, they show the world that, you know, the world that's inside my head. Um, it's colorful, you added color to it, so I gotta give it to you. This was a great, great job. I think everyone liked it, so there you go. You're the third place winner, and you get one of the prizes that I mentioned in the previous, or in the original video. So good work for you, bud. All right, now, moving along. Number two, the second place winner, or second placer, if you will. That's going to... Mr. Sea Monkey. Mr. Sea Monkey 98. Okay, now Mr. Sea Monkey was the one who did the Green Day drawings. The reason that I've decided to give it to you is because you did a su you did just such a good job of shading the characters and making them look realistic, and you also you did something based on a conversation you had with me. So you know you kind of showed some meaning in your drawing. You know it was something we had talked about on a daily basis, or at least 
you know, whenever we had a little conversation. We had this ongoing joke and you really played off on that with this drawing, so or these drawings. So I gotta give it to you. Um, second place, it's all yours. So great job, buddy. And okay, now it's, it's finally here. Now for the first place and final person. Okay, first place goes to Radom Cupcake. Okay, now the reason I'm giving this to Mr. Radom Cupcake is because this drawing was just amazing. It was so well done, so nicely executed, and it just looks like me. Like I showed it to my whole family and they all kind of laughed at how much it looks like me. Um, it's a great drawing. I can tell this kid has a lot of talent. He's obviously been drawing for a little while, so I just had to give it to him. Um, he really had a lot of features that have to do with my channel. He had the whole Minecraft theme. He had my hat. Um, he had me sitting there in my white t-shirt. Um, you know, it was just, it was really representative of all that's gone on in my channel. So I just had to give it to him. I really just think the drawing though was really crisp and clean and it just looked a lot like me. Like, it was just a great drawing. So, you know, here you go. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know what? This is for everyone. This is for everyone. I know it's just a little, a little clapperoo, but you know, you all deserve it. You all did a great job. You all, you all made me laugh and you all made me have fun. So I just want to give it to all of you. Um, it was so fun doing this contest and you know I really look forward to doing some contests in the future. Um, now as you guys know the first place winner who's Mr. Radom he actually gets a uh, graffiti canvas so I'm gonna write his name whatever he wants me to write and that's gonna be what he gets that's the winning prize. Um, now if he decides that he doesn't want that he can always go with the second or third option which was a graffiti canvas that I did a while ago, as I'll put up there, and then my Enderman painting. So he can decide that he wants one of those instead of the graffiti option, but it's basically up to him. Now the second place uh, person who's Mr. Uh, sea Monkey, he's gonna get basically if if Radom goes with the number one option then he either gets to pick uh, the graffiti canvas or the Enderman painting. And then basically, um, add me a warrior, you get the leftovers. I'm sorry, but you get something at least, you know? So that's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna talk to you guys all individually and we're gonna work out who gets what. But for all of you who didn't get anything, don't feel ashamed, okay? I still love you guys, you are all my friends, and you guys probably will win contests in the future. Trust me, I know how it is. I lost an art contest this year as well. Um, you know, I actually went to a contest like down in Toronto. I mean, I didn't, I didn't lose it, but I didn't win it. So, you know, I know how it feels, but it doesn't matter, guys. You know, you just gotta pick yourselves up and get back, get back, hitting that canvas or that drawing or whatever, whatever you feel like doing. Um, anyways, I want to stop blabbering on, but I just really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot that you keep supporting this channel of mine, and, you know, I just want to let you guys know that I am going to remember you all, because you're all people who submitted something for my first ever art contest. So this video is always going to be on my channel. Um, I'm always going to remember you guys, and if you guys ever need help, I promise I'll help you, you know? If one day you want to grow your channel and you say, hey Steve, I need some help, you know, I was one of the original people in your art contest, then I'm going to say, oh yeah, sure, you know, I remember you, I'd, I'd be glad to help you, and you know, I'll try and feature your channel, or I'll, I'll do something like that. So, you know, you're all winners, and I just want to say, good job. Good job. Alright, that's pretty much it guys, so thanks for tuning in as always, and yeah, as always, talk to me in the comments section, because I want to know what you guys liked about this contest, what you didn't, and I don't know, just let me know what's up, okay? I hope you guys are all okay with my judging of this contest, I try my best, and I'm going to shut up because I keep talking. Alright, peace out guys. 
Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I just recently checked my YouTube channel after I made this video and noticed that there was one more entry from my good buddy Waterhazard123. Uh, I feel really bad that I kind of did this video before I waited till 12 o'clock. Um, but you know what? I'm still happy with my decisions. I still like my first, second, and third choice. Um, that doesn't take anything away from Water Hazard. I think he did a great job. Um, he did this cool idea where he, you kind of see like the video box and then all the videos at the side and all the comments on the other side. And then he even has this whole Minecraft theme going on at the bottom. Um, he even has me wearing a Toronto Maple Leaf shirt, which would never happen because, you know, the Leafs suck. But uh, anyways, it's it's a really good entry, and I just wanted to thank Water Hazard for joining this. And I, again, I'm sorry I kind of got this video done tonight before I waited till 12 o'clock. I just, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this, so I just wanted to get it done. But anyways, again, you guys are all winners. I'm going to help you guys all out with your YouTube channels um, if you if you want me to. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching everyone and I wish you all the best. All right, later.